In this video, you'll discover the 2024 election and Project 2025's potential impact on Medicare. Discover these plus significant changes to Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans and how that could affect your health and budget. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Renee Van Staveren. I work with hundreds of Medicare agents across the nation, and I lead Medicare education at Connie Health. Major insurance carriers like Aetna, Humana, and more are ending Medicare Advantage plans in some markets or significantly reducing benefits. The reason that they're giving is that they need to get their businesses back on track. By exiting unprofitable Medicare Advantage plan markets, or greatly reducing the benefits offered. And Medicare Part D costs may rise as we see the impacts of the Inflation Reduction Act, drug price negotiations, and an uptick in the use of certain medications. These Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D shakeups are coming this fall. If you wanna read more about these major shakeups, I've linked an article in the description below. These major Medicare shakeups are also coming during an election year. Three major players are running for the presidential seat. Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr., RFK. How would the election of Biden, Trump, or RFK impact Medicare? According to a Kaiser Family Foundation poll, Biden has more trust in various healthcare policy measures, but voters are split on addressing healthcare costs. Most voters are unaware of the Medicare drug price provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act that Biden signed into law. When Trump was president, his administration's budget proposals included spending cuts to Social Security, primarily by targeting disability benefits, and Medicare, by largely reducing provider payments. In contrast to Biden and Trump, RFK thinks politicians in both parties have allowed America's health to deteriorate. RFK states that they debate about who will bear health care costs, which is like rearranging chairs on the Titanic. According to RFK, America's catastrophic health is bankrupting the country. Approximately 90% of healthcare costs are for people with chronic or mental health conditions. RFK plans to investigate and root out the cause of chronic conditions. Now that we discussed the impact of a Biden, a Trump, or RFK winning the presidential election, let's move on to Project 2025. What is Project 2025? and how will it impact Medicare? I reviewed Project 2025, which is Trump or the Republicans' transition plan. There were seven pages dedicated to Medicare, and we'll review what their proposals are. Overall, Project 2025 believes Medicare should be reformed according to four principles. Number one, increase Medicare beneficiaries' control of their health care. Number two, reduce regulatory burdens on doctors. Number three, ensure sustainability and value for beneficiaries and taxpayers. Number four, reduce waste, fraud, and abuse. I truly hope that you're finding this video to be valuable. If you are, take a moment and hit the like button below and watch this video till the end where I'll share more helpful links to support you on your Medicare journey. Now, let's get back to the video. As I comb through Project 2025's seven pages outlining changes to Medicare, some really came out for original Medicare, Medicare Part D, and Medicare Advantage plans, and I'll review those. Original Medicare Part A and B proposed reforms included basing payments on the health status of the patient rather than where the patient happens to receive that service. Replace the fee-for-service system with value-based payments. Codify price transparency regulations. Restructure drug subsidies towards beneficiaries versus hospitals. And repealing health policies such as the Medicare Shared Savings Program, and the Inflation Reduction Act. Now let's talk about Medicare Part D potential reforms. Number one would be to repeal the Inflation Reduction Act's drug price negotiations. Number two would be to eliminate the coverage gap in Medicare Part D, reducing the government's share in the catastrophic tier and requiring manufacturers to bear a larger share. Under Project 2025, these are the proposed Medicare Advantage Plan legislative reforms. Number one, make Medicare Advantage the default enrollment option. Number two, give Medicare beneficiaries direct control 
of how they spend their Medicare dollars. Number three, remove burdensome policies that micromanage Medicare Advantage plans. I think this would mostly impact carriers and how they handle prior authorizations for care. And last, remove restrictions on key benefits and services, including those related to prescription drugs, hospice care, and medical savings account plans. So now that you know that there's a big Medicare shakeup happening this fall, Things are changing for Medicare Advantage plans. Things are changing for Medicare Part D plans. And there's an election and potentially Project 2025 will be implemented. How can you ensure that you have the right plan for your health and budget come January 1st, 2025? The combination of the Medicare Advantage plan shakeup, Medicare Part D shakeup, and the election year are actually an opportunity it's an opportunity for individuals and caregivers to have their and their loved ones' plans reviewed. You don't want to be left in the wake of exiting markets, reduced benefits, and rising healthcare costs. As policies and government change, Medicare plans will as well. Did you know that every year new plans become available that are competing for your business? And that plans can actually drop your doctors from network and no longer cover your prescription medications. These are two reasons why it's critical that you shop plans every fall to ensure that you have the right plan for your health and budget in the coming year. Everyone on Medicare can schedule a Medicare plan review during the annual enrollment period, which runs from October 15th to December 7th. Call and speak with a local licensed Connie Health agent in your area. In this video, we shared the 2024 election and Project 2025's potential impact on Medicare, plus what significant changes to Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans could mean to your health and budget. We also discussed the steps that you can take to ensure that you have the right plan come January 1st, 2025. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Until next time.